My great-great-grandfather, his name was George Smith, he came to the farm in Iowa in 1853. That is the Heritage Farm. Yeah, that's 160-some years we Smiths have been here on that farm. So it's, I think that's no, you know, no small feat uh, to have survived all the, the world wars and the depression. That makes me proud to have farmed the same property that they farmed. And Marie and I are quite sure that there'll be another generation for sure, so that's kind of gratifying, I think. Nick and I would be the sixth generation. My brother and I work here closely together. Um, I think Dad and Mom would be the first to tell you that we've added a lot to the operation. The land is, is theirs, it's ours, and uh, we appreciate all that God's given us, and we get to enjoy that with our family. It was important to keep it there, and it, it, it's very important to me now that it's always Smith land. I started farming in 1981 out of high school. Uh, my dad had some health issues, and I knew in the end I was probably going to end up back here operating the farm, or hopefully farming, so I thought, well, I might as well just start into it right away. Well, my grandfather came to this country in 1850, and he bought the first of this, right in this, this 40 acres here we're on, in 1865. Actually, I farmed all my life, except when I was in the Navy. I've, I've always been on the farm, and ever, I've worked for two different people in my lifetime, otherwise the one person I worked for is my dad and myself. Worked for an hourly wage, and then in 86, dad and I went on thirds, one third, two thirds. I supplied two thirds of the labor, his dad said, and he supplied two thirds of everything else. And so, and then uh, we went on halves in the early 90s, and then I rented the farm. Lori and I, my wife, rented the farm. March 1st of this year is our first year to be farming on our own. There's just such a great sense of pride in Tim and Tim's mom and dad. You can just tell it on them. They're just proud to show everything off that they've worked, well, their family's worked 150 years to have. For our Century Farm, we've been here 100 years. My husband and I took over from my dad in 2010. I'm the fifth generation. My kids will be the sixth. When we started, it was, I graduated in 73. And then we went through the 80s, which were terrible. We worked hard and we made it to, until now, you know. It was rough. The original farm was only 80 acres, and now we're up to 160. Having Amanda and Eric here, it's fantastic. You know, I never thought this day would come or would ever happen. It means, you know, whatever I did and what the people did before me means something. Living on the farm with the kids is great. They just love going out every day and after school and checking out what was done today and what happened. And my goal, raising my kids on a farm that I got from my parents, they got from their parents, I would love for my kids to take over. The weight's off of me. I mean, it's being passed on.